Good evening, Jules fans. Welcome back to the latest episode of Jules in the Blood TV. It is Thursday night, which means one thing. A look at back at the week that was and then ahead to our weekend fixture. This weekend sees us play a day earlier. We take on high-flying Lincoln City live on Sky Sports on Friday, 6pm kickoff. Um, in terms of the week that's just gone, nothing to report in terms of a midweek fixture, so that won't have done us any harm at all after Carl Dempsey and Callum Slattery both picked up knocks in the two-all draw with Sunderland last week, but we'll get back onto them more when we look at the team news later in the video. Lincoln have played during the week. I believe it was quite a much-changed side. They saw off Hull City in the pizza trophy, uh, but it means that they've not had a rest like we have. So whether we can use that to our advantage, we will find out tomorrow evening. Um, transfer deadline day was Monday. As you would have seen on the channel, I've already produced a video giving my in-depth thoughts on that. So if you've not seen that, please go and check it out. Give it a like, give it a sub if you've not subscribed to the channel so far. Um, yeah, it was a decent window all in all for me. Like I say, the, the big disappointment, well, not big disappointment, but the one that we missed out on was an extra striker, wasn't it? But if there's not anybody about that's going to come in and help us, then I can understand why we've not wasted money bringing anyone in just for the sake of it. But in terms of who we lost and who we replaced them with, I think it was a, a very useful 30 days or so, and we certainly looked much stronger. Anyway, on to the big one Friday nights as we take on Michael Appleton's men. The Imps will arrive in ME7 in absolutely blistering form. Looking at the last six overall in the league, Jill's lost, lost one, drawn one, drawn. So we've picked up eight points from the last 18 available and they eight have actually come in the last four games. So certainly showing signs that we're becoming more consistent, harder to beat and a better football team. Lincoln, win, win, draw, win, win, loss of 13 points from 18 available in their last half dozen fixtures. Looking at it and breaking it down into home and away. Jill's 1-1, one, one, lost, lost, drawn one. So 10 points from the last 18 available over that half dozen at the Priest Field. So starting to look a bit healthy again after a rough patch before Christmas. The imps on the road are near perfect. Win, 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 win. That's five. And there was one draw before that. So 16 points from the last 18 on the road. Tells us all we need to know about the task that we're up against tomorrow night. Michael Appleton's team now, for sure, completely changed it on how they were when they played under the Cowleys. A lot more of the ball is on the floor, a lot more technical players. Um, and just a very good football team all over the park. They look solid defensively. Their midfield's hard-working, industrious and creative. And up front, they've got good players. They've got a centre-back who's got eight goals this season, which tells you all you need to know about how good they've been in Lewis Montsma. Really good signing in the summer from Holland, I think it was. Got George Grant and Anthony Scully, both already in double figures for the campaign in all competitions, so there's two to keep an eye on. Uh, Liam Bridcup brings loads of experience, championship pedigree earlier on in his career, so he's another one that's going to have to be kept an eye on. And in Tom Hopper, and I think it's Brennan Johnson, the lad on loan from uh, Nottingham Forest. I think they've got 13 or 14 between them already, so they're going to cause us a threat. Um, and the likes of Jack Tucker, Robbie Cundy, etc. are really going to have to be on it like they were last week in nullifying the threat of big Charlie White. In terms of the team news for the Jills, it doesn't look too bad at all. Steve Evans has confirmed in a press conference today that Kyle Dempsey, Callum Slattery, who both came off with knocks last week at the Stadium of Light, are absolutely fine. And Tommy O'Connor is fit again after missing the Sunderland draw. So they're all available for selection. The only two I think that we're missing is Dominic Samuel and Christian Magoma. Uh, and there's still a question mark, I think, over Henry Woods. I'm not sure if he's just not been selected or whether he's still struggling with that knee problem that he had to have a minor operation on. But imagine Woods wouldn't have been in contention even if he was available. For me, it's tough to go away from the same 11 as last week, especially bearing in mind looking at Lincoln. They play 4-3-3, so I think we'd be wise to match it up. So my team would be Jack Bonham in goal, Ryan Jackson, Jack Tucker, Robbie Cundy and Connor Ogilvy as a back four. Carl Dempsey and Callum Slattery shielding again. That middle three of Jordan Graham, Oliver Lee and Alex McDonald in behind Big for Dane Oliver. I think if we need to go 4-4-2 diamond like we did against Crewe, then Alex McDonald can tuck in on the left-hand side. We'd go Callum Slattery at the base, Carl Dempsey from the right and Oliver Lee at the point with Jordan Graham joining for Dane Oliver up top. So it gives us some flexibility and some options without having to make substitutions. My bench would be Sasha Bastien, Robbie McKenzie, Stuart O'Keefe, the returning Tommy O'Connor, Matty Willock, Tyreek Johnson and John Akindi. 
means that uh, new signing deadline day arrival, James Morton will have to miss out for me and bide his time. But I don't think that's a problem. We've got plenty of games coming up. I think there's a few Saturday, Tuesday soon. So he'll certainly get minutes, I would imagine. But for me, just a little bit too soon. Right, the big question that I always ask myself and will ask you as well at the end of the video is a score prediction. It's going to be tough, but we've been in good form over the last four. Like I've said on previous videos, the patchy one was Rochdale, but we still managed to dig out a point. Accrington, Sunderland and crew, we've been absolutely spot on. A lot nearer to the Gillingham side that we watched under Steve Evans for the majority of last season. Um, Lincoln are flying, we know that. Um, but I'm going to back us to get something at home. I think the form's on the turn. We look like a lot stronger in terms of know-how and noose now in terms of uh, working out how to stop other teams playing. We did it last week um, against Sunderland. Uh, we pressed crew high and didn't allow them to play their passing game. And I think it'll be a similar performance that we'll have to put in tomorrow. I'm going to go for Gillingham 1, Lincoln City 1. And I'm going to back for Dane Oliver to be our goal scorer this weekend. Uh, one quick thing before I go today, Thursday the 4th of February, is time to talk day. You've probably seen the hashtag on social media. My DMs are always open. I'm very open about my mental health battles and my struggles that I've had previously. Thankfully, Touchwood, I'm doing all right at the moment. Still taking it day by day and week by week. Still taking the medic medica medica medication once I've put my teeth back in. Um, because I still have, you know, hours, half hours, half days, days where I struggle because we're still in lockdown and our life isn't as it should be. Um, walking, reading, podcast, music, exercise, just do anything that you can to keep your mind active. Uh, mental health is as important as physical health. I've learned that the hard way over the last few years. Um, a few people have messaged me privately over the last six months or so, and I, I find it great that people are willing to talk to me and, and think that I can help. I always am very clear that I'm not an expert. I'm just a bloke that suffered myself. Um, DMs are open if you fancy a chat, whether it's about something that you're struggling with or whether you just want to have a chat about football or sport in general just to take your mind off other things. That's absolutely fine. I will try and respond as quick as I can. Right, that's enough from me. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday with Jules to look forward to on the box. Whether that's a good thing, I'm not entirely sure given our recent record, but I fancy us to get something. I really do. Um, right, Please keep liking, subscribing, retweeting and doing all that you do. 25 away now from 1500. We are creeping up to that magic target. So please keep letting others know and getting them to subscribe to the channel. Please keep looking out for the Fan Hub app. It is only two weeks away now, I do believe. The video for their app will be at the end of this vlog. And until tomorrow for our Match Day Live, up the Jills. Jump.